Let's go through some warm-up problems before we start this lesson. So here's an example. Michael Jameson calculates interest daily on an account that earns 8% APR. How much interest did he earn on $5,600 after 38 days? And they've filled all of the information into a table down here. Let's remember for simple interest, the interest is the principal times the rate times the amount of time that's in the account. And again, the time is in years. So they've done this down here. The principal is the amount you put in to the account. So that's $5,600 times the rate of 8%. Remember when we put percents in, we move the decimal two places to the left. That's why it's 0 0.08 times the amount of time. Now the time is 3 divided by 365. That's because there are 365 days in a year and he had it in there for 38 of those days. Um, so they had it in for 38 over 365 days. And we can use that to calculate the interest. So you just take out a calculator. Now if you want to just key the string of numbers into your calculator, this is what it would look like. 5,600 times 0 0.08 times 38 divided by 365, that fraction bar, we can use divided to fill it in. And when we do that, we get $46.64 is the amount of interest that he would earn. All right, here's Loretta. Loretta put $40 in a savings account that earned 3% interest each year. Which of the following would help Loretta find the amount of interest after four years? So remember, our interest is equal to our principal times our rate times our time. Her principal was $40. Okay, so now we have interest equals $40 times her interest rate was 3%, remember to move the decimal two places to the left, so it would be times 0 0.03, times the number of time, the amount of time was four years. Now notice none of these match, this one almost matches, but they're adding another $40. What this first one would give us is the amount in the account, because this part is the interest, and this is the amount we originally have. So if we add those together, it gives us the amount you have in your account after the amount of time but not just the interest. Um, this one is also out, notice it has addition. So we're down to these two options. Let's go ahead and multiply. Notice they both have a $40 times something. So let's multiply these last two and see what we get. So if we simplify our problem, ours just a little bit, we get 40 times 0.12. The 0 0.03 times 4 is 0 0.12. So our correct answer would be this one here. That would give her her amount of interest if she went ahead and finished calculating that. 